Okay, so let's have some fun and see if, if I can make this color into something a little bit more palatable. So let's try a few things. First of all, I'm just going to try and really simply darkening it. And yeah, that's already quite nice, but not quite there. Next best thing is a bit of burnt sienna. That always neutralizes things. There we go. Now this is an olive green in my opinion. So basically I'm just going to use this color as a base color that I can mix into the right color for me. There we go. Now that's gorgeous. I really quite like this. It um, You can build it up a little bit, not too much. So it's not as interesting as the antelope brown. It doesn't have that wow factor, but certainly I could try and work with it. So Always remember to wipe these off before they dry because they are acrylic paint at the end of the day. And if you don't want to pull out your nail polish remover later, then make sure you work with it accordingly. Okay. <clears throat> Goodness, I'm still recovering from that smelly oil stick. So let me do a bit of a mixed media abstract. I'm just going to pull out some colors and just kind of pull them through a little. These are water soluble. Okay, I want to add some darker color into this. So I'm just going to go around this orange. And then, what about if I introduce some of this Kind of turquoisey colors. This light color I think works a bit better. So nice and simple. Trying to not overthink anything. And I mean, let's see what would happen if we add a bit of green gold. Just going to add it to my tray. Such a beautiful color. And just, if you need a bit of a lift, you know, Definitely gorgeous. So I think I want it a bit stronger here. Okay, so that's looking quite nice. So I guess if we look at this color palette here, what else could we add? I mean, some of this turquoise would look quite nice on here. So I could just, at the end, when everything is dry, because otherwise it becomes a mess if you start introducing oil sticks into wet medium, you can still do that. 
sometimes there is a lucky kind of uh, mishap that happens and it ends up being quite pretty. But uh, all in all, I will do that right at the end. And I think what I want to do, just a little bit, just for fun, is add a bit of this color on a very fine tipped brush just in some areas like that where I know it will pop but very little of it because it's just so intense you know it's like adding too much of something that could just get very quickly out of control so I'm just going to add it here just in a few places it's super opaque and I find that if you want this in intensity of this insane color the pencil will not take you there I've got the same luminous lemon pencil in fact it's right here and it's just not the same it obviously it's a pencil so there you go just a little tip for you and in fact I'll show you that it's not the same if you just take it here it's just you know it's not doing the same thing okay so fantastic let me just uh, dry everything now and then at the end just add a, a few strokes of that turquoise just on top and see what happens okay so the question is if I would add that um, Turquoise now, where would I add it? So if I added it here, we're becoming, we're sort of separating these two areas and putting something there, which we know will draw our eye into this area and then sort of also these areas, it kind of will be a little bit lost. So what I want to do is just layer a little bit of that paint onto something that we already have built. And that way this area becomes a lot calmer and then we have something going on here. That's the idea. So let's grab the oil stick. Okay, so for the oil stick, we don't need the water anymore. I'm just going to get a palette knife. Gosh, I just got over a cough because this one is very intense in the smell. So just a little bit like that. And I'm just going to kind of place it in a few areas and I just want to kind of not just sit on top but sort of blend in a little bit so just using my palette knife like that to just wipe it off and that's it that's all I want to do now very quickly this has to go back in this stink attack Okay, and then just to finish off, I'm just looking at a few blue turquoisey colors that I have in my pencils and kind of may audition a few colors. Let's see. So I think this middle color I could kind of try taking it somewhere here, just in in a few, in a smaller area, just to create that, you know, visual triangle, and maybe even onto the white, just a tiny bit. So it's kind of there, repeated, but not not sort of separately sitting. I might even attempt to add it to this area right here. I will also take this orange and build up a little bit more just on top, if it lets me. In fact, I just want a bit of this orange here. <coughs> it kind of pops really nicely on this green. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I think it sort of connected it now. It was more of a straight line before, and now we have this going on. I may as well quite like these sort of neon colors popping up from there, but I lost them now. 
And what I may do is just try to put a few of those into here, but literally just a couple. And then I like that they're sort of popping from underneath a little bit, but like I said, we lost most of them. So just building it up and that is it. So here is our little abstract. I really enjoy playing with it. I enjoyed building upon the colors and it's just been such a great little fun. In fact, kind of feel that I'm still not fully done with it. I want to see if I can bring this orange in like a pencil form just to connect it through here like this. Yeah, okay, I'll call it done. Otherwise, I'll be still, um, you know, playing around here. I've got some paint at the bottom of the page. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know uh, if this was in any way inspiring to you, whether it's the color palette, whether it's the play with the um, art supplies, different mediums, different textures. Let me know what your kind of favorite recent discoveries have been. And I would love to know. Thanks for watching. See you soon.